Howdy virtual farmers, welcome back to Fernie Farm. I'm Nick and today's episode is jam-packed with agricultural adventures. We've donned our ovals, hopped on the tractor and embarked on a mission of growth and feathers. In the heart of the fields we've been busy with some serious fertilising contracts, boosting the health of our crops and reaping the rewards. But that's not all, we've also taken a plunge into the world of poultry, starting our very own farm. So if you're ready for a clucking good time, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell and let's cultivate some more gaming greatness together. The farm awaits and so does the adventure. So last episode we accepted a bunch of contracts, fertilising ones, so first things first, we're going to go and do these contracts and get that money in the bank. We may even have enough for another solar panel, however, it's probably not the best idea to start spending all our money on solar panels when we, we could do with another tractor. Right, so the first one I'm going to do is number 29, because I believe that's the closest one to me. So I'll see you when I get there. Alright, okay, this is plot 29. It shouldn't take too long, it's quite a small plot, so... We'll just get straight in there. I don't know if you guys are aware, but I have started a new series, which will be for our Sundays. Moving forward, this one is going to be on Wednesdays. And we're going to have one on Wednesday and one on Sunday. Eventually though, I do plan on doing a third series, but I just need to get my head around the schedule and make sure that you are getting the content you come here for. I am literally just rushing this though. It's not my land or anything like that. And I don't want to waste too much time doing contracts when we could be doing other stuff. Like, don't get me wrong, this is probably the best route for making some money, but it's probably not the most entertaining watching me spread fertiliser across a bunch of fields. So this series is just going to be my Let's Play, where I just play for entertainment, and obviously I'm playing it on the hardest difficulty too, no mods or nothing, whereas my new series, it has a bunch of mods, and I am adding mods to it as we progress through the game too. Nearly done. 96. There we go. Ooh. And straight away I will go and collect my money. Quick five grand. That wasn't hard. So next I'm thinking we go and do number five because I think that's the farthest away. And quite possibly the biggest one. Yes, it is. Mm. Do we have enough fertilizer to do that field? That is the real question. So if you guys have any ideas on specific things which you'd like to see here on Fernie Farm, then drop a comment down below and let me know exactly what it is which you guys are looking for because I might be able to fulfill your requests. Okay, so this is plot number five. Let's get this fertilised. Like I say, straight into it. No wasting time. Time is money. Right, well, let's have a look at the other contracts. This is one we can do as well, but we'll wait until we've finished this one before we accept it. I'm not going to bother with bailing. Bailing just takes way too long to do. And it's just, it's just not worth it. £3,000 for an acre of grass or wheat i'm guessing it's grass and then you've got to go around and oh yeah it's just it's just a headache if we start doing bailing contracts whereas fertilizing is is fair i wouldn't mind getting a second tractor but i'm not sure if i have the budget for it because we have £100,000 left, and we don't want to be spending £100,000 on a tractor, do we? Um, let's have a quick look in the sale, see if there's anything... See, if, Well, there's nothing in the sale today, so that's no good. Uh, I made the mistake of buying a tractor which wasn't powerful enough for the majority of my stuff, unfortunately, but what can we do? We're already into it now. 
I'm not going to sell it because it'll have future purposes too. check on the map Ooh, and put cruise control on first so then so we can browse whilst we're still doing our job so we have got a quite a big chunk of it done already it's about 50% now we'll probably have to stop off at the shop to get some more fertilizer on my way to the next one So there we go, that's our second contract done already. Oh, let's collect that. Okay, and we will accept this one too. First things first, we do need more fertilizer, so I'm gonna head towards the shop. And I guess whilst I go over this farm, which is my next contract, I'm just gonna empty out my tank onto it. You know what? I could probably get away with just going in a straight line at this point. Oh, so close. We nearly got the full straight there. Okay, so let's make our way back to the shop. I'm just trying to think which way it is. It is this way, yeah. So the plan is to actually purchase every single piece of land and build up this whole map with a great big farm which is all owned by yours truly okay and whilst we're here we're just going to fuel up quickly actually is this fertilizer or is it seeds i think they are seeds yes they are okay let's buy some more fertilizer now, if I remember rightly, we can fit 3,000 litres in here. Well, it's just over 3,000 litres, so we will just buy three, just so we're not leaving any. Right, we're all filled up, all fertilised. Let's go and make some more money. So we had already started on 16 and 12, I believe. So we'll go straight over there and get them finished. We'll do 46 last because it's closest to our farm. And if you are liking the series so far, be sure to hit that like button because that will help us out a ton. And don't forget to subscribe, turn on notifications, so then you are notified for every single video we have upcoming. Now when we do start a new series, I do like to premiere them. And I think at certain milestones throughout the journey here on YouTube, I will be premiering a, a few more videos so then you guys can come and join me, ask me questions, get to know me a little bit more. Alright, so we've got these two plots over here and then number 46.
So I think that plot number 16 will be complete after I've done this last strip. Field number 13 on the other hand is going to need a little bit more attention. But we don't mind that now do we? I am really hoping that this field will be finished because there is that little bit of a strip down there. This field 64% complete. Brilliant. Okay, let's go and accept our money for that contract. Okay, well that's that contract done as well. So that's another £6,000. Wonderful. We're going to get ourselves over to number 46, which is just behind our farm. Hmm, maybe we should think about getting another piece of land. Hmm. Really got to be careful though with how we spend this money. Because I don't want to be taking out loans. In this series, I want to do my best to pay off a loan. And then not have any loans in the future. And I think we're making around £5,000 a day just off our solar panels. Now obviously that is all dependent on how much sunlight there is throughout the day. So as the summer comes around, we'll probably earn more money for, through that. But once winter comes back then we're probably not going to make as much money. So yeah, I'm thinking that maybe this farm here, number 40, this piece of land, that might be worth getting. And then 41. If we get 41, then we could probably join 38 and 41 into one great big field. So then we can just plant one great big farm to harvest. Alright, and it's just down here. I think it's the one on our right. So it'll be the first time we've been to this piece of land though. Ninety-seven percent, and there we go. Okay, so let's collect our money. You know, this field's quite a large field for four thousand pounds. So we're at one hundred twenty thousand pounds. That's a twenty percent increase on today's money so far. So I am thinking that I am going to start up a chicken farm. I think that would be a good start. I'm. I'm also contemplating whether I should purchase a piece of land where I can grow wheat. So maybe once we harvest our soybeans in October, we could actually plant some wheat. And then that way we can do some baling as well, get some hay bales, and then potentially even get a sheep farm, get some wool on the go, and then get a spinnery and start up a clothing store of some form. I think that would be a, a nice little goal to aim towards. Okay, let's have a look at 
the animals section. So cow farm is seventy five thousand pound. Hmm, that seems a bit pricey in my opinion. Oh, if it's a cow pasture. Right, yeah. Right, we're not gonna touch cows. I'm not going to touch horses because I don't think they actually produce anything apart from manure. Um, pigs, I believe that pigs, well I don't even know what they produce. So my interests are in sheep and chickens. Now I would do sheep but I don't have any hay bales and it's going to be a pain in the backside to get hay bales. Whereas if I'm buying wheat I can just literally... I can go to a farmyard of some form and I can just fill my trailer full of wheat. Oh, you know what? We could get a big chicken coop. Let's have a look at that. That's not very big. So if we've got 360 chicken... Wow, that's a lot compared to the 30. They're going to be all crammed in. They are, poor guys. But <laughs> I do actually think that this is the best shout at the moment. You know what? I think I'm going to place it here. There we go, and I am actually going to get rid of these trees at some point. Let's do some landscaping quickly, get some concrete down. Okay, so I'm just wondering how much does this accept? See, I've never actually owned this before. So it would be interesting to see just how much you can fit into this silo. Mm, doesn't tell you. Okay, let's buy some chickens. Now obviously, we don't want to fill it up because the chickens can grow. And breed. Um, and if they're worth fifty pounds each, that's gonna be a lot of money. It's gonna be around eighteen thousand pounds plus the delivery fee to fill. So I'm thinking we get something like fifty nine, and then one rooster. I don't know how you'd fit 360 chickens just in here. Oh, I've just bought these chickens and I haven't even gotten food yet. Alright, let's just get rid of these trees. Okay, now I do need a, a tree stump cutter at some point. But I ain't going to buy one because we only have six tree stumps to get rid of. And it's definitely not worth buying one when I'm only going to use it for once. Right, okay, let's get in our tractor and get our trailer filled up full of wheat. I'm thinking about it, once our chicken farm is full, we could maybe even sell some of the chickens. Will it fit 8,000 litres in there? Yeah, easy peasy. Hmm, I think it's around 9,000 9, capacity, so I, I did pretty well there. I think that's enough for today. I'm going to hit the sack, go to sleep for a few hours, and see... Ooh, let's turn my engine off. And see what tomorrow brings. Okay, so we made some decent money overnight. And we've got some chicken eggs. Well, hey. And how many chickens do we have? Still 59, and they are eating around 200 to 300, I think 300 litres a day they're going to eat. So there's enough food in there to last nearly two years. So we, well, that's based on there being 60 of them. Once it goes to maximum capacity, if it taken up 300 litres a day, then they'll take up 1,800 litres a day. 
which when the tank is full, that's five months until it runs out of feed, which isn't a lot of time. Okay, let's see if any contracts are left over. Ooh, so we do have these. You know me, I do love a fertilizing contract. I think I'm just gonna quickly do these now, just to try and recuperate some of our money we've just spent. Because I don't think the chicken farm is gonna give us a return of our investment anytime soon. It's gonna take a little bit of a while to sort of recuperate what we've spent on that. However, once there's 360 chickens in there, they are going to be producing eggs like rabbits. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to go to the shop, fill up on some fertilizer. I'll just get two bags. I'm hoping that we should have enough fertilizer to get all three of these contracts complete. Right, where are these? So number nine is there and number 14 is up there. I'm thinking we'll do number 14 and then we can come over do number 9 and then number 25 after. I think that's probably a good route. I can go up here, do that, cut across here, follow this road down, number 9, finish somewhere over here and then yeah. Okay now number 14 is right here. It's a nice small field. Ooh. Front wheels lifted up then for a minute. It's not a nice small field, shouldn't take too long. Right, that's one contract down, two to go. Okay, and we'll oh, start around here. Come on, up there you go. There we go. Oh, turn my engine off. Now the one thing I dislike about Farm 25 is I don't think there is anywhere you can cross the railroads up this end. I think you have to go right the way up to 45 or 46 to just cross the railroads. So I am going to be a little bit naughty and just jump the railroads.
Okay, we should be done any moment now as well. There we go. So yeah, I do think that the the crossing is down here. Which is a bit frustrating if you did own this land. Because you have to travel all the way down here just to get to it. Now if you're coming from the other side of the island. Um, or the other side of the map. That's quite a distance to go. Yeah, I think the, tr the crossing is just coming up now. Yep, here. Ooh. Ouch, that hurt. I was paying more attention to the crossing than I was up to the... I was going to say road, but... To what I was doing. I'm not on the road, so... Yeah. So let's see just how much money we're going to make from these contracts. I believe that was like £13,000. Which ain't too bad. And we spent three and a half grand on fertilizer too. So that does bring us back up to 40 grand, which is what we were at before I bought chickens. I'm going to go to sleep and see what the RNG gods have got for us for tomorrow. Have a quick look here. Ooh, so... Oh. Right, so we've got them too. Wow, that's a big contract. 34 acres though. Nah, not doing it. It'll take me forever to do that. Do we have any more chickens? Oh, we have some babies. That's 60 baby chickens. Wow. They really do come fast, don't they? That's too heavy for me to carry now. So we are going to have to get a front loader pretty soon. And there we have it, virtual farmers. Another day of hard work and fruitful endeavours here on Fernie Farm. From fulfilling fertilising contracts that breathe life into fields to the clucking excitement of our newly started chicken farm. It's been a farming fiesta. If you enjoyed the ride and the symphony of tractors and clucks, give this video a thumbs up. Your support means the world to me. And as we wrap up today's episode, I want to extend a huge thank you to each and every one of you. Your likes and subscriptions are keeping this virtual farm thriving. So what's next on Fernie Farm? Well, you'll just have to stick around to find out. The journey continues, the fields keep growing, and the adventure never ends. If you do have any suggestions, don't forget to drop a comment down below. And hopefully, if your idea is good enough, I might just include it into next week's video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss a moment on the farm. Until next time, happy farming. Bye bye.